In this video, we'll find the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for Cr, that's chromium. So the first thing we can do is we can go to the periodic table and we can look at the atomic number for chromium. That's this number right here. So the atomic number for chromium, 24. And that's for all the isotopes of chromium, it's always 24. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. That's what the atomic number means. So for all these isotopes of chromium, they all have 24 protons. Let's skip over neutrons for right now and take a look at electrons. On the periodic table, the elements are neutral. There's no negative or positive sign after them. So when they're neutral, and we have a neutral element, the number of protons will equal the number of electrons. So here for electrons, it'll be 24 for each isotope. So to figure out the neutrons, the mass number, we're given the mass number here in the name for the isotope. So chromium 50, that 50, that's the mass number. Chromium 52. So we have the mass number for the each isotope of chromium. It's part of its name. So to find the number of neutrons, we know the mass number is protons plus neutrons. So we can just do some math. 24 plus something gives us 50. 24 plus 26, that gives us 50. Then 24 plus 28 would give us 52, and so on. So again, the only thing that's different with these isotopes of chromium, that's the number of neutrons and therefore the mass number. If we had a block of chromium, all of these isotopes would be present. Some atoms would be chromium 50 with 26 neutrons. Some atoms would be chromium 54 with 30 neutrons. They'd all have the same number of protons and electrons. The most common isotope of chromium is chromium 52. About 84% of those atoms would be the isotope of chromium with 28 neutrons, mass number of 52. Most of the time you'll be given either neutrons or a mass number. If you're not, you'll probably have to look at the periodic table and then you look at the average atomic mass. That's an average of all the isotopes, their mass, based on how much there are. Since most of it's chromium 52, we'd expect this to be closer to 52, which it is. So if you're not given neutrons or a mass number, just round the average atomic mass to the nearest whole number and then use that for the mass number. This is Dr. B with the protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for chromium. Thanks for watching.